Hey, we're back. Father and son, we're here to talk to you about the uh, Hasbro Kenner. Um, what are these? The twelve-inch Star War bounty hunters, or as I like to fer refer to them when they're not with Boba Fett, they are the anti-Boba Fett coalition. Where they get together and they protest Boba Fett's popularity because they're like, we're po we're really cool looking too. We're really cool looking too. Right, especially uh, Dengar over there in his bandaged self. So let's talk about these guys. Um, I was never really into 12 inch stuff, period, or even 6 inch stuff, like this black stuff that's going on, because um, I'll tell you why. They're a lot more expensive than the 3 3 quarter inch guys. So um, I had to say to myself, though, I love that scene in Empire Strikes Back where there are. The bounty hunters on the Star Destroyer, and they're all kind of like intimidating the heck out of uh, the Imperial um, Star Destroyer pilots and crew members. They're just scary, like our friend over here, Bosk, that's just kind of says those words, and he lives in infamy now because of his old. How does it go? What does he say? He's like, what, he goes like, I don't know. he goes, lipstick or hell. Well, that's what he does. Hey, and, there's a Boba Fett. Oh, but he's not 12 inch. These are 12 inch. Um, I actually got into these guys too, not because of that scene in Empire Strikes Back, but also because they're sort of unique in the sense that they are kind of goofy looking. So hold up, show us Dengar over here for a minute. He's got a lot of cloth involved on him, and it, I don't know. Nobody probably knows Oshkosh here, but in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, there was a clock at the Oshkosh Public Museum, and uh, when the clock struck a certain time, these little like n these little uh, church people came out of the clock. I think they were like the disciples. They came out, and they were all twelve inch, and they were just kind of creepy looking. They looked kind of like the humanoid puppets in the Mister Rogers um, television show back in the day. Um, anyway, these 12-inchers kind of look like that, so um, that's why I kind of like, particularly uh, Dengar right here, and um, no wait, Bosk and Dengar. Um, so I'm going to see if I can get this straight here. So this guy back here, this is IG-88, he is a... Uh, uh, robot. He's a, yeah, he's a sentient uh, robot killing machine. He's kind of like a Terminator, essentially, and he wants to take over the world. Yeah, good good song. I like that Terminator song, all right? And the thing yeah. to remember there is um, in one of the, you know, one of the non-canon books now, uh, IG-88 took over um, the Death Star, actually, in Return of the Jedi, but that's non-canon now. But it's a pretty cool story. I think it's Kevin J. Anderson in Tales of Bounty Hunters or something like that. Blah, blah, blah. Um, this is uh, Spoiler Dengar, alert. right? That's not Dengar. No, this is Dengar. This is <laughs> Boss. Sorry. Um, he is a Trandoshian, right? Yeah. And he um, was kind of like a predator. His, his, yeah, his, his people are, they're like predators. They hunt for fun. They hunt people. I think there was an episode of Clone Wars where a bunch of Trandoshians fought, uh, tried to hunt down Ahsoka and some other people, which was a pretty good episode. Um, and then these two guys, I think they're friends. I'm Han Solo. He's a robot. Um, he is Forlom, and I think Kenner screwed it up once and called him Zuckus, and this guy Forlom, but because it's four dash L O M, it's kind of like C three P O. This is the robot. He's a robot, for sure. He is and the... And he's a protocol droid. See the thing that C-3PO has? Yeah, you're totally dead on there. And then Z Zuckus down here, I've been told, is Force-sensitive, um, which is kind of cool. I hope, you know, some of these guys turn up in the Han Solo movie, if that turns out well. They would... Forget about Boba Fett, because... It's, it's always Boba Fett, Boba Fett, Boba Fett, right? Yeah, but what Boba about these guys? They're super cool. Um... And then, um, 
finally, my favorite over here, Bandage Head, um, Gengar. I believe his bandages are because of a race that he lost to Han Solo, so he's always trying to hunt down Han Solo. Hates Han Solo. Anyway, um, there's tons of uh, non-canon stories out there about these guys that I recommend. There's a really good, I think, the first Dark Horse comic book series. Do you remember what it's called? Dark Horse? Or, I don't remember really good story um in the middle of it jengar and boba fett show up to try to ambush han solo again take revenge on him just kind of some fun stuff and it's just kind of cool if you if you're into boba fett um he is cool right because he's mysterious but now he's not mysterious anymore because we got the prequels and we know all of his backstory with jango fett and the clones and all that blah 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 the mystery, the, the mystery of Boba Fett is not there anymore. He's not mysterious. He's just a punk kid. But these guys are ripe for picking. Um, these guys are friends right here. Old Forlom and Zuckus. They're buddies. He's force sensitive. That's cool. Let's talk about that story. Um, he's a bounty hunter like Predator. Can you believe that? Um, he hates Han Solo because he's all bandaged up because of him. And... He's a killing machine. He's a killing machine that took over the the Death Star in Return of the Jedi right yeah. before it blew up. Yeah. So, um, great backstory. These guys are the mysterious ones, and that's why they're the anti-Boba Fett coalition. We hate Boba Fett. Show us the love. Show us the love. So, we'll talk to you guys next time. Anyway, I was able to find these guys for a pretty good sure price on eBay. I just kind of wait until they... I just wait till they just kind of pop up on eBay. So that kind of Mike got them all for about 10, 15 bucks a piece. Um, we're done. Make sure to, to subscribe up there.